welcome to another episode of MagicReview.com. Today we've got Octopalm. I say we like there's more than one of us, but it's just me. Anyway, Octopalm, $9.95. You get this little tub here. And, and so here's a quarter. Give you a sense of how big that is. Okay. Um, plus you get access to a website that has a video download that's... Uh, the ad copy says it's 90 minutes, but I think it was closer to two hours. Uh, and it covers uh, how to put the gel on, how to, um, you know, uh, how to clean it off, where, where to use it, um, several effects that you can do um, that require the gel, other effects that you can enhance, like in, enhance it, you know, stuff that you've been doing for a long time maybe. For example, um, you may remember this old bit, right? Where you unlink and link them. Now, I, I'm going to show you. Uh, years ago, I used to be able to do this no problem. Didn't have to have lotion or anything on my hands. These days, my hands are so dry, I can't do this trick. So you're going to see a fail right now. Okay, here we go. Ready to link them through each other. And fail number one. Let's try it again. Fail number two. One more. See if I can get it. Just get lucky. No. <laughs> All right, so... Fail number three. <clears throat> um, another quick thing here. This is a dime here. I'm just going to put on my hand. My finger here. And nada. It does not stick to my finger. Now, the way this stuff works, you don't. it's not like a lotion that you rub all over your hands. You put it in strategic spots on your hands. And so we're going to strategically put... Um, in fact, there's some stuff to the lid there. I'm just going to get a little dab of that. See that? Not a whole lot. There you go. And just you just rub it in, okay? And you rub it together, or if you're going to put it on a different finger or on your palm or whatever, you just rub it on your palm. Okay, now right now it feels kind of greasy, um, Vaseline-y, right? And you look at it, it looks sort of like um, hair gel, like uh, Dep or something like that, or just some kind of hair grease, mustache wax, I don't know. But it's, it's pretty greasy. The idea is you're supposed to rub it on uh, until it starts to feel a little bit tacky. Okay? And uh, that does take a couple of minutes. And so um, we're just going to rub it in. But while I'm rubbing that in, I'm going to keep it below camera here and keep rubbing it in. Uh, so on, what I was about to tell you is that on this video, this download, you'll l also learn how to enhance tricks that you already know how to do by adding this gel to your fingers or whatever. Um, now, this is not just for people with dry hands like myself. It's also for people who just want to improve their magic. There's some effects that cannot even be done unless you use the gel. Uh, the uh, creator, uh, Jim Bodine, I believe is his name, he created it and he, come, he has several routines that you can do just using the um, octopalm that you could not normally do without the octopalm. So now it's starting to feel tacky, like they say, rub it till it feels tacky. And I'm there now. And then you just let it dry again for another minute or so. So this is not the kind of thing that you do, um, you know, right in front of the table, obviously, or in between tables necessarily. What they said in the video is that this stuff, you once you put it on, it'll last for a couple of hours. Um, now, the, I don't know how much use that you get out of it lasting a couple of hours. Um, so in other words, if I use this like crazy and I'm shuffling my cards and doing a whole bunch of tricks that use this on my fingers right here, um, will it really last two hours? I don't think it will. Uh, but I found something I'm going to show you here in a minute. I'm going to spoil the secret yet. Uh, I'm going to let this dry a little bit more, but uh, let me show you something though now. Okay, uh, Using the uh, same matches, and I'm hopefully going to not screw this up. Um, Anyway, so it's the linking match trick, and here we go. Look at that. Bam, right through each other. You see that? Oops, there. See that? Okay. So, that I could not do that a few minutes ago because my hands were not... Um, I don't want to expose how the method works, but you probably got a sense of it if you don't know the trick already, just based on the fact that I'm using this gel stuff. But here we go again. And it just links right through, you know? So, uh, I keep breaking the link on the way out. I'm not, I, I get out of performance mode and I, I don't stop to think that I should unlink it magically too. So here we go. There's on, there's off. Okay. 
hopefully I'm not exposing that that effect so that's just to show you that the stuff really does work it does give you some tack here's that same dime now if I push on it look at that sticks without a problem to my finger there um, I've got a quarter here and uh, it'll even hold the weight of the quarter okay so that's what this stuff is it's called anti-gravity gel now uh, you do need to let it dry a little bit it, uh, so it doesn't make leave like grease marks on your playing cards and stuff like that um, but what I found is uh, they said that you should use it and then when you're done with the trick that you're doing using this stuff wash it off and <laughs> to wash it off you need turpentine or mineral spirits I don't even know what mineral spirits are but they said it's basically like turpentine but it doesn't stink um, I and that, that's what they really said I'm not making that up now I found that that's not necessary you can actually just soap and water and it comes right off but they're talking about if you're doing like a set and you do some tricks that use the the stuff and then you're gonna move on to tricks that that where you don't want to use the stuff they recommend having a little sponge of turpentine in your close-up case inside of a little bowl and you just they say just a quick brush and then a wipe with a towel and you're done so I have not tested that I'm not gonna go out and buy turpentine but I believe them I, I don't have any reason not to but what I found though is leaving it on isn't that big of a deal uh, it's not like you know I'm gonna grab my water bottle here and it's gonna stick to my hand or something like that or or uh, whatever I can still use my cards and just fine you know and in fact my shuffle improved when I had it on my thumb uh, my riffle shuffle in the hands riffle shuffle you know just a typical you know you riffle off the cards flip them around and shuffle them together right uh, I should have shown you this before I put the stuff on because look what happens here before I put the stuff on my shuffle did not look very good uh, it had see how it's relatively decently weaved there um, what would happen is I just would end up with chunks like my shuffle when I'm all done looked something like this I mean it just looked stupid I couldn't like and I thought it was just because I kind of lost an act for it but the reality of it was that my skin was so dry that it was just kind of slipping off the cards and it wasn't working right so now I get a nice good rough riffle and a good my left hand is not as dry as my right hand my left hand I never really have much of a problem with but I can get a good release of the cards without a problem I have not been able to do that for years so I mean it was just kind of freaking me out that suddenly all these things I thought I'd lost the knack for it turned out just that my skin was not in the right condition uh, there's this old uh, popping out of the deck thing. It's uh, I'll let the card go away. It's I believe Danny Corms. It's called the Leaper. I used to be able to do that thing left and right. I'm looking at the camera trying to catch it. Sorry, and I couldn't do it. I have not been able to do that for years. I've actually substituted it. This this little poker deal. I, I substituted that because I couldn't do uh, this. Now I can do that again because of this Octopom gel. Crazy, right? So, does this stuff work? Yeah, it totally freaking works. Now, I will say my finger does um, feel just a little bit greasy and a little bit tacky, but it's not, it doesn't bother me. And the fact that suddenly now I can do stuff that I have not been able to do for years, that's killer to me. Uh, there's that dime. I just picked it up off my desk just by sticking my finger on it. And uh, let's try the quarter that way. Same thing. Bam. So, what can you do with that that's I'm not gonna go into all that um, but just imagine having that ability some of the card tricks and effects that you do how could they be improved by having very good grip on your hands plus what new effects could you come up with it's nine dollars guys nine dollars ninety five cents and you saw how little I used, and this thing will last you a long time not to mention you get access to the website I mean kill it right so I was playing around trying to figure out um, other quick ways to wipe this stuff off if I did want to wipe off during performance. So I got the ye old baby wipes here, right? You keep these around, they're handy. So I got one and I just washed the stuff off, right? And I washed it off until my hands felt no longer sticky, greasy. They felt kind of smooth, right? So let that dry for a second. Get the old dish towel here. And now check this out. Even after doing that, my hands don't feel sticky anymore. Look, the dime still sticks. 
Very, very cool. So now I'm not feeling all sticky and tacky and greasy and stuff is still sticking to my skin. Look at the quarter, still there. Okay, uh, let's try the matches. I don't know if this is gonna work with the matches or not. Let's just try it. Here we go. Look at that, bam, beautiful. So there you have it. And that's just using the, this, this generic, uh, you know, parents choice Walmart brand baby wipes to wipe it off. And uh, I can still feel that the stuff is there, but it feels so much smoother. And if I were to touch somebody's hand, they certainly wouldn't feel it. So this is a solid product, guys. I mean, you just saw it in action right here live. Um, I, I don't know what else to tell you about it, um, but I'm probably going to sit here and ramble about other things. Uh, probably the biggest thing is um, they felt that you would need to... Um, you know, clean it off between effects, and I really don't think that's necessary. Um, you, what, what it's going to come down to? Get the stuff. It's ten dollars. Just get it, and experiment with it. Figure out how much is enough or too little. I mean, in worst case scenario, you find out that it's just not going to work for you. You know what? You've got a dozen packet tricks that you spent more money for that are sitting in your magic junk drawer that were a waste of money. This, it may end up being a waste of money if you just decide you're not going to use it. But it was worth the risk. This pack of tricks, they weren't worth the risk. This is worth the risk. Take the plunge. It's 10 bucks. And if nothing else, you'll get the download off of the site that allows you to see some of these other tricks and just, you know, some cool ideas on there. So, I've said enough. Five stars. Stone Status of Gem. Capital G. Capital E. Capital M. Random my team song of the moment. See my finger stick to my keyboard here. Yes, good old country. Leanne Rhymes, how do I live? <clears throat> Is it irony that <coughs> this water made me choke? It made me cough, I should say. I think Shania Twain was the original singer of this instead of Leanne Rhymes, but they're both great versions. So, how do I live? Leanne Rhymes. Octopalm, 10 bucks, five stars, stone status of gem. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all on the next review. And I'm trying to break the habit of saying peace and out because everybody says that on their videos. So, thanks for watching, guys. See you later. <laughs>